What's up guys, Coach Bobby back here talking to my BTY Nation. Today I'm talking to you about self-actualization, right? Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? A little psychology uh, lesson here, all right? So most of us in America, most of us in, in, in industrialized countries have met most if not all of the lower levels of the pyramid of needs, right? This Maslow's pyramid of needs, right? Hierarchy of needs. And the problem with that is that now we're at a point in our lives where we are looking for something, something out there to help us feel better, to help us go through every day, every week, every month, every year, feeling as if we are accomplishing something in our lives. And we feel empty, we feel lost, we feel like we haven't done anything or enough in our lives to feel of, of, of value, of worth. And so even though I focus a lot of my attention on physical, it's about a process. It's about a process of getting better, of BTY, of real BTY, getting better than you were yesterday. The problem is many of us don't know what that means anymore, right? Many of us have had the most of our needs either met by our parents, met by our spouse, met by people around us. So now we're at a point where the only thing we have is of any value is to get the last part of this journey ourselves. And without the ability, without the, the wherewithal or the knowledge to do that, we're lost. We're lost. So I'm here to help you guys figure out uh, how to do that from a, from a process standpoint. Number one, we have to make sure we understand where we are in this journey. All right. So if you go through the, the pyramid, I go through really fast, right? It's physiological. That's the first that's the first need, right? Most of us have met that. We have food, we have shelter, right? Then you have then you have safety needs. Or you have safety needs where you feel like you are protected, like you, you are not at risk of, 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 of ill or hurt or harm or death. Most of us, outside of, of the abnormal cases of, of a terrorist attack or of the news telling us there's some danger in our community, most of us feel like we have met our safety needs, all right? So we had the first two met. Now we got uh, a, a love and, and, and belonging, right? And, and most of us, for the most part, have at least some level of that in our lives, either, either, either real or imagined or somehow have met the, 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 the love and belonging. We feel like we belong to a community. We belong to a family so we've passed that barrier right now we get to the part where it gets it gets challenging right we have esteem needs right we have esteem needs we have uh, uh, the, the feeling that we feel like we're confident that we feel like we are doing things that make us worthy of the pride uh, that we want and deserve all right so we're at esteem and some of us fall short there we fall short there because we don't feel like we we look or feel the way society says we should look and feel and so that's where a lot of us fall short. And then if we happen to get past that, whether temporarily or permanently, then we're at the self-actualization part, the top of the pyramid. And that's where many of us fall short. And I'm telling you, if you follow this process that we go through, where you say every day I'm gonna figure out how to get better. Every day I'm gonna figure out how to do something that's different than the day before, right? Every day I'm gonna be a better person than I was when I woke up, right? When I go to bed, I wanna to go to bed a better person, whether that's smarter, uh, fitter, healthier, happier, stronger, more loving, whatever it is, you wanna to go to bed feeling better. Until we get to a point where our process, our daily process is such that every day we wake up, uh, we wanna go through that day and get better, BTY right in every sense of the word and if we do that then by nature you will feel better because what happens is guys hundreds of years ago and for most animals right the lower levels of the the hierarchy were all you cared about right so so cavemen right and our ancestors didn't get depressed right because their whole life evolved around waking up and surviving about surviving either going out and getting food right or surviving against danger it was a physical it was a physiological need that had to be met right food shelter right clothing right those are physical needs and that was all you had to worry about because if you if that's not met you're not worrying about esteem you're not worrying about self-actualization you're not worrying about love really so 
our ancestors had to deal with that, right? If they were lucky enough to deal with that, then it was safety, right? So it was like, am I in danger of, of a saber-toothed tiger? Am I in danger of a lion coming to get me? So, so until those two needs were met, you didn't worry about anything else, okay? And then if those were met, then maybe it became a, a part of the community, of a, of, a, of a small village, and you had to feel like, where was your place in the village, all right? So our ancestors had to deal with all that, and they did all that work for us, right? To the point now where we are at a point in our, in the world's existence, in our human beings' existence, where we don't have to worry about the lower levels of the hierarchy anymore, right? Physiological needs, for the most part, are not an issue, right? Safety needs, for the most part, are not an issue right love and belonging needs for the most part right are not an issue so we're left with only esteem and we're left with only self-actualization right and because of that and because most of that work was done for us we're lost right and we should be embarrassed we should be embarrassed that our ancestors our our, our grandparents and their parents did all this work for us but did all this work for us where we don't wake up having to run from danger we don't wake up having to go get food. We don't wake up having to go find water and, 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 find, and find shelter. All that's been taken care of by, by previous generations. So now all we got to do now is feel good about ourselves and, and, and get the most out of ourselves and be the best version of ourselves. How embarrassing is that for us to, to, to take that baton and drop it? To take that baton that they gave us. They ran three-fourths of the track. We have to run. It's a four-by-one relay, and they ran three legs of it. Right? Our ancestors ran three legs of a four by one relay and we can't run 100 meters by ourselves. Right? Our ancestors went through all this crap. Right? If you're, if you're African American, your ancestors went through, went through a slave ship. If you're Chinese American or Mexican American or, or Italian American, your parents came in with nothing. Right? Came in with nothing to this country. Right? Maybe left behind family for a year to, to gather enough money to bring them here and went through all kind of trials and tribulations and you can't do a burpee, you can't study for a midterm, right? And so all we gotta do guys is, 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 is build upon all that foundation that was set. The lower level of the hierarchy was all met for us to get to this point now where if we adhere to a process of just getting up every day, right? Not looking for food, not trying to find shelter, not trying to figure out how to avoid the saber-toothed tiger. All we got to worry about is how to get better, right? To maximize who we are as human beings, to maximize every day, to live BTY. That's all we got to do. And we can't do that. All we got to do is wake up every day, get better, and go to bed better than when you woke up, right? Now, the process can be challenging. I get it. But we have to do it. It's our job. It's our obligation to take what they did for us, right? Our grandparents and their parents, what they did for us and take it further, right? They did all the stuff for us. All the groundwork was laid. All we got to do is move forward, right? Take the baton and keep going. They ran three quarters of the track. All we got to do is run the final 100 meters.